Hello and welcome to the Penguin Rundown. I'm your host, Zach Humphreys. YSU soccer comes in 1-1 one one in the Horizon League. Uh, now this homestand this week will prove to be very important for the Penguins. Let's take a look at that upcoming schedule. There you see Cleveland State and Loyola. Cleveland State uh, will come to town tonight, Wednesday night, underneath the lights here at Stambaugh Stadium. Then Loyola will come to town, and then the Penguins back on the road at Valparaiso. So a big stretch here for YSU soccer. There you see the overall record at 6-5 and five currently for the Penguins. As for YSU Volleyball, they went 1-1 one one on the road. Uh, they swept Wright State, then lost in four sets to Valparaiso. They're going to come back home as well. Let's take a look at their upcoming schedule. There you see volleyball two and four right now in the Horizon League, still 12 and eight overall. But uh, three home games upcoming for volleyball: Cleveland State, Green Bay, and Milwaukee. So a big stretch here for volleyball as well. Is uh, a lot of action starting to come back home. Both of those teams had some tough stretches on the road early in the seasons. As for YSU football, they're coming off a disappointing loss at North Dakota State. But like Coach Wolford said in a tweet earlier this week, it's all about the bounce, how the Penguins will come back uh, from this defeat. Uh, the Gwins will go on the road again this week at Illinois State, another hostile environment. Let's take a look at that matchup. There you see number eight now in the country, Youngstown State, facing off against number 14, Illinois State. Now, it's something to note. Both teams suffered their first losses this past weekend. Illinois State was shut out by Southern Illinois, 17-0. And then Youngstown State was beat up pretty good, 48-7 at North Dakota State. There you see the uh, series to date pretty close and even at 11-10. That last meeting last year, uh, YSU was able to sneak out 34-27. Take a look at the quarterback comparison. Tell you what, this is the third week in a row we've seen a really, really good quarterback comparison. This week it's Matt Brown for Illinois State. Uh, both of these guys are, the, you know, a couple of the top guys in the uh, entire league when you're talking about quarterbacks' efficiency and what they're able to do. Uh, Matt Brown statistics a little bit better. But that might be because Illinois State, a lot more passing attack than Youngstown State. Youngstown seems to be a little more balanced at this point in the uh, season than the Redbirds. Take a look at the season stats. There you see that uh, total offense number really jumps out at you for Illinois State. This is a very high-powered offense. Uh, we're going to have to go uh, the Penguins, that is, into their house. So it's going to be another tough, tough uh, Tough, tough game this weekend. Hopefully the Penguins uh, can sure some things up defensively and uh, get things going offensively. And the big thing, of course, you got to take care of that football. The Penguins were not able to do that at North Dakota State. This is another good football team where you're going to have to take care of possessions. Take a look at the upcoming schedule at Illinois State. Like we said, they're going to come back home for Southern Illinois. Then they will go at South Dakota State. So uh, just kind of a back and forth portion of the schedule right here. Penguins, a lot of tough road games, uh, but uh, you know, the schedule is what it is. Penguins still sit at four and one, one and one in the conference. So uh, this is a very important game right in the thick of the Missouri Valley Conference. And uh, vote for Eric Wolford, www.coachoftheyear.com. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to run this graphic for you. Uh, you can just go to that website there. And you can also find this stuff on Twitter and Facebook and uh, that kind of thing, too. Uh, also, hit the Gwins up on Twitter, at YSU Sports. That's the handle there. Go to YSUsports.com to keep pace with the Penguins at home or on the road. Uh, thanks for tuning in this week. We'll see you next week here on the Penguin Rundown. And as always, go Gwins.